welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto and today's video is a grocery haul. Um, um, it is Sunday and it's about 1.30 right now, but I literally got home from the Keto Orlando Summit at 6.18 this morning. I woke up and I was just like, I wanna go home. The event was about over. I think I skipped out on like the group picture and like a light breakfast, but I was just ready to come home, you know? And you know, Ralphie has major separation anxiety and I didn't wanna put him through any more stress. And I just missed my people, you know? I'm not used to being away for that long. It was just so weird to be away and be only like 30 minutes away. It was really weird, but had a great time. Stay tuned for future videos on that. So this is why I look like this today. <laughs> I normally try to look a little more presentable, but just bear with me. So um, this is gonna be a grocery haul. Um, I've already gone, but most of it is um, some carnivore meat and stuff for Andy. So I found a couple of new items I'm excited about. And then I did a quick ingredient prep, not a meal prep, but since it is Sunday, it's my last day of vacation, I really just wanna go on the couch and take a nap, which I'm going to do as soon as this is done. Um, I just wanted to kind of separate the meat, you know, the big packs of meat that we get, kind of show you what I kind of do to get it ready in the freezer, in the fridge, some of the stuff. So I hope it's helpful. Um, make sure you stay tuned. Thank you guys for all the love on the channel and for um, helping um, just motivate Andy. And you guys are so excited to see how he's doing and I love that and it really it really helps him out too. So um, yeah, stay tuned. This week we're gonna have a What I Eat in a Day, I think. And then Friday will be episode two of Andy's Update. So yeah, I can't wait to tell you all about my weekend. It was great. If you haven't seen the pictures, oh my gosh, I can't even believe the powerhouses that I met this weekend. It was really cool. So uh, we'll talk soon. Enjoy the video. All right, guys. So the first part of this video or the grocery haul is going to be Andy's um, carnivore um, stuff. This is a mixture of stuff we got at Aldi's and Publix. You'll be able to kind of tell by looking at the brands and stuff, but let's get into it. So um, someone mentioned, whoever it is, I hope you're watching. Thank you for, um, giving him the idea of, of the chuck roast. And we did watch Carnivore Quest's way of making this. So I'm going to be making this for him. He's very excited about it. We did get some more. This I did get at all these. Oh, if you want to know the price too, because I know prices are interesting right now. Five thirty nine a pound and it's like a four. Wait, no, is that right? Yes, five thirty nine a pound, and I was supposed to get like a four to five pounder, and I think I was looking at it wrong. But this is okay. I mean, I can still make it. It's not going to matter. Um, also got from all these these uh, beef burgers. This is the eighty five fifteen. It's just pure beef. Um, obviously zero carbs. In the ingredients is beef. So these are great. I mean, you guys know, you can put an egg on top of it you know, whatever, salt, pepper, throw some bacon on it. I did get some more of the Argentine red shrimp. This is the wild pot. This is uncooked, um, but I love it. It's raw, peeled, deveined, tail off. I might have some of this too, but it's mostly for Andy. He really enjoyed the bacon wrapped um, shrimp that I made. Here's a new find. I found bone marrow at Publix in the freezer section. Looks a little different than I thought. I've seen it like when people eat it, it's like the whole bone. This is like chopped. So I'm gonna have to do some research and see how we eat it or how I make it. But this was three pounds, 259 a pound. Not expensive. I might try this because I have heard that this stuff is delicious and it's so good for you. It's got like collagen and all that in it. Very excited to try this. I think that'll be something, I don't wanna say fun, but something new to try. Um, this I got and Andy's outside. Thank goodness. He's like, I'm not interested in beef liver. I finally found it. It is in the freezer section. Um, one of my friends that I met at the summit, let me know, Hey, I get it at Publix and it's in the freezer section. And I felt like I've already looked and tried to find it and I could never find it, but I found it this time. And she gave me a really good tip. She was like, grind this up in your food processor, mix it with some ground beef and Andy might not even know. You know what I mean? Like, 
Right now, I'm not going to tell him, but I'm going to tell him at some point. But I think this would be a good way. I know this is very very health benefit. Like the benefits of this are so good. So I'd really like to get that in him if I can. So we'll see. Um, I did get from Aldi. I've got three pounds of their bacon. Um, yeah, this, I just got three instead of four this time. But I don't think, I think he still has some pre-cooked already in there. So, you know, we like to make the bites, chicken bites, burger bites, all of that. So, and then I got some hamburger meat. I did get the lean one this time, but I got it because it was on sale. So we're just trying to save where we can. This one was cheaper than all of the other ones, $4.99. You can always add your own oil too. Add some butter, you know what I mean? Throw some oil in there, that kind of stuff. So this is about three pounds. Um, and then the bone broth, he loves the chicken one the best. And they didn't have the brand that we normally get but this was very comparable ingredients wise also so i just got a couple because he's still got a few left um i did get some more chicken thighs with the skin on bone in he is really loving that because i put like it in the air fryer and the skin gets all crispy and all that good stuff let's see what the prices were at publix 229 a pound not too bad at all and then chicken breast at aldi was on sale i know it's not a fattier meat but it was Two sixty nine. I guess that's like a super great deal. They were like limiting it to two packs per person. I only got one, but it's one of like the family packs. So I went ahead and got that. So that is all for him. And that's a pretty good haul, I think. That's definitely, um, we got a couple new things to try. And I think this will last him probably a week, week and a half. So let's move over to the table here. This is also a mixture of Aldi's. <laughs> this is going to confuse people. This is a mixture of Aldi's and Publix. And it's also a mixture of vegetarian and non-vegetarian. So um, on the right hand side is my daughter's stuff. You guys seem to be like, yeah, show it. That's fine. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it can be keto stuff and sometimes not. Um, but it might give somebody an idea that knows somebody that's vegetarian, who knows? So let's just jump into hers real quick. This is not <laughs> vegetarian or anything, it's just terrible. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, it looks good. She wanted to try these. These are mini empanadas, roasted corn and black bean. We're not even gonna go into ingredients or anything on that, but that was it, all these. She wanted some fruit, so got her a big thing of fruit at Publix. This we got at Publix. This is not for her. She is vegetarian. It's not for me either. She's making dinner for her boyfriend this weekend or this week. And they actually could be something that you could have on keto as well. The ingredients aren't terrible. You got the apple in it. That's probably what gives you the four total carbs. Um, this is also one of her favorites. She puts this. It's like a plant-based mandarin orange crispy chicken. It's got a sauce in it and you mix it, put it over rice. Um, she loves this and yeah, so not good for us. Um, she got some oat milk and then this was another thing. She wanted some mac and cheese and she thought she'd try this, um, chickpea pasta one. Um, I've always been curious about this. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see her make that. I might have to take a bite of it just to see what it tastes like. I'm curious. Um, so the rest of this stuff is kind of for me. This is funny though, cause there's not much in here. I, I didn't, um, we still have a bunch to eat, but I got some more tomatoes. I'm actually gonna be making my BLT dip for me to have this week. I'm kind of craving it. So um, I will link that video for you if you're interested in that. It is delicious and super low carb, sour cream, mayo, um, bacon, and tomato. You mix it all together. You could literally put it inside of a lettuce cup. You could make it, um, mix it with, uh, mostly a dip but it is so delicious um everybody loves it so that's that and then i got a couple of spaghetti squashes we're gonna be making the tiktok pasta this week jordan and i um because i have some tomatoes the cherry tomatoes i got last week and then i have some feta cheese so i'm like very good quick and easy meal um jordan wanted some broccoli but we went ahead and just um i put it in the middle because it could be for us as well so um, she wanted that. She likes to eat that by herself, uh, by itself. I don't know why. I couldn't do that. Um, this is the True Story Smoked Turkey Breast for me. This, I've only seen at Publix. It is so good, and the ingredients are super clean. Princess Ninja and Kita turned me on to this in her video, and 
the ingredients, I mean, look, zero carbs, there's nothing hidden. It's turkey breast water and maybe a little bit of salt. I'm just, it is so delicious too. Like I love wrapping, a, wrapping it with cheese, throwing some mustard in the middle and it's just a, a really good snack. Um, so I had to get some sliced cheese with it. Um, I got cheddar and Munster. Um, this one says zero carbs and this one is zero carbs, it says. Um, these were on sale, so that's why I got two packs. Major shortage of sour cream at this Publix. Oh my gosh, I like getting the daisy one because it is less carbs. This one is two carbs per serving, but they were out of everything. Um, I need it for the BLT dip, so there we go. Um, I got that. I needed some more freezer bags and quart ones. And then um, kitchen bags or gross garbage, garbage bags. That's what they're called. We needed some cat treats. And then I got some of the two good yogurts because at the event, I'm going to show you some granola that I got that I am super excited about. And I thought this would be a great matchup with it. And I could not believe the ingredients and the carb count in it. I will tell you more about that in a future video, so stay tuned. But I got a few of the two good yogurts. And this, actually, I got at CVS. Um, I needed some more MCT oil. This was the only one that they had, but it's clean. It's only got the, you know, um, what's in it. It's just MCT oil. Um, but I like adding this into my coffee i blend it in in the morning with my collagen and all of that and it's you know has no flavor but it's a great source of fat and i think i'm going to start doing this in andy's coffee as well because there's no taste to it and it's just a really good way to get some additional fats um oh yeah so that's it not too bad i mean andy got most of everything this time around but um uh, the next uh, clip i'm gonna just show you how i'm kind of getting his beef prepared for the freezer and stuff throwing stuff in um freezer bags and things like that just to have it ready for the week so see you in the next one all right so first i'm getting the meat situated and i like to make sure i kind of like to flatten it out and make sure i get all the wow. air out of it so it fits compact in the freezer it doesn't take up a lot of room that way and then the same thing with the chicken thighs. I put, I think, like four in one pack and then three and three in the other pack. And just make sure you get all the air out of it. And they just stack nicely in the freezer so they don't take up a lot of room. And then the same with the chicken breast. So I love having that new strainer. I got at Aldi's over there in the sink. And that's just where I throw my garbage. It's my new garbage bowl. And as you can see, I want to make sure I showed you, I disinfected the counter before I did the next thing. If you're working with raw meat, especially chicken, you want to make sure you're doing that. And I just shredded up some chick, some cheese. Um, I had a block in there from last week that I hadn't shred up yet. So I shredded that, put it at the bottom. And then I had a bag of leftover shredded cheese that I wanted to make sure I put at the top because we want to use that first. And then I wanted this um, Colby cheese to kind of snack on. So I just cut it into little cubes. And that's it, guys.